how to draw a tarantula spider. I know they're like a genus of spiders. Like there's, there's not just one tarantula, there's like a load of different types. So I think this is maybe giant tarantula. I don't know. It's kind of like the generic sort of orange and black sort of one. So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast. Let's go. Center point about here. We're gonna start with his fangs in here. So you'll just do a bump like that and another one like so. This kind of comes down this way and we're gonna make them hairy, right? So we're gonna go with these sorts of texture lines. And across like so, okay? And you can put some texture on it if you want. Give him a fang. So there's like a little piece of skin on the bottom and then a fang here. Then we do the same on the other side, right? So. Coming down. And a fang here. Texture. Right, so more or less like that. It could be kind of dark here where it like joins his face. Right, so then we'll have like a bump of skin, like an edge line, a ridge just coming around here. And the eyes are just up here. So there's like, on this particular image, there's like a big eye. So we'll go with this bulge of an eye. So we'll go like one here. And then one in the back. There, we're gonna do the same on this side. So we'll go. They don't have to be the exact same on both sides, but we'll try our best. And then there's like a layer of three more. So creepy. Make another one up here. Okay, and then these will have like sort of texture lines around them as well. Sort of like just to show that it's kind of like sitting in his skin. Right, and then so the back of the head, so we're gonna go we'll go like we'll make it hairy as well. around here at the back and this is like the top of his head like just here we'll bring this down to the front because it's got like a couple of layers right so Right, like that, right? And it's all hairy and stuff here. And then there might be like a piece of skin or something coming up underneath. Okay. So the abdomen at the back, again, textured and hairy. Bumpy sort of thing. Give it sort of an edge here. Put some texture on it as well.
All right, so now that's the body pretty much. There's some more details where the legs join, but we'll just get the legs in first. So there's two legs at the front, right? And they go sort of around this way and they have all these clicky sort of connectors, right? So sort of hairlines like this. It's like his knee or something. And this will bump down, right? You got like one section, second section, third section. And at the bottom of this, he's got like two claws. At the bottom of the third section, there's two like claws that stick out. Right, so we've got the fur just sort of here, the hair. And then we got like a little claw. Like nails, toenails, like that, right? And each of these sections has a hairy sort of connection. Maybe that can be. Textured. And you want to do the same thing over here. Right, in each of these. These two claws stick out here. Right, and then texture on the legs. Right, so that's the front two legs, right? So in between here, you can just see the abdomen sort of underneath, right? The body, sort of the belly. Underneath here. Okay, and then legs. So the rest of the legs. So we're going this with these will stick up more now, right? So, so the knee is like here, hairy section. And then we go. Sections all coming down, right? Here's the general shape of that leg, and then we add all the hair. Claws. And then texture. And over here. Each of these is a section and you get the idea now, I'd say at this stage. So you just keep doing this for each of the legs. And then toenails. 
and then we just have four more legs to do. But luckily, we can only see like two more full ones. So, because of the way they curve. So let's go for it. Let's just go fast now. If I go too fast, just hit pause. Like so. Go down. And I'm doing it sort of scribbly scratchy because I'm trying to make it look hairy. So you could do it like smoother if you wanted. Similar over here, another leg here. Slightly different, goes in and from up here, but that's okay. Nearly there. So we can just see like some bumps and stuff where the legs sort of join the body in here as well. So like some of these kind of things. It's like pieces of skin or something here. All right, and then more legs come out from here. They go kind of up the back a little bit. They spread out towards the back of his body that we can't really see. So coming down and behind here now. Right, and another one coming out from here. Textures, important in a line drawing. And back here then. And you can't see that, that leg. Right, that's all the legs. Okay, now all you gotta do is tidy some stuff up, and if you want, thicken up the edge lines, right? Right, but 
that's basically it. That is how to draw a tarantula. Hope it's helpful. Thanks very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.